During the last Swipe Left episode, I actually touched on the whole situation with Little Nas X and the fact that he actually came out of the closet, uh, if you will, during the last day of Pride, which was the last day of June. And um, he has this song, Old Town Road, which is a huge hit for him right now. Um, it's with Billy Ray Cyrus. And everything with that is going really, really well. He took to his Twitter the last day of Pride, and he basically outed himself. And I had a lot of questions about backlash coming his way, what is actually in the future for him, and that kind of thing. And like I said, I actually, I was speaking about it on Swipe Left, but Swipe Left, it was going to be too long of a discussion, so I said I was going to do a separate video, and that's what we're getting ready to do. So, now, he is 20 years old, he's 20 years old, and the question I had, the, the biggest question up front was, is it fair now to say that he's going to become this poster child for LGBTQ youth, basically. And me personally, I don't I don't feel like that's fair. You know, um, I think that should be his choice. I think that he, he took a step in actually coming out and living his truth, and that's cool. But I think that it should be his choice whether or not he becomes an activist or if he wants to start going to LGBTQ events and all of this, I don't feel as though it is necessary that he has to become the face of LGBTQ rappers. He doesn't have to do that. I mean, I think that it's fair for him to continue learning to be Lil Nas X, period. Now, if he wants to do some activism, great. If he wants to do... um some reaching out to the LGBTQ community and being involved in different functions and different things, then great. But I don't think he should be forced to do anything. That is my personal feeling. Um, this is the other thing that is is going to be strange to me. He was doing some interviews, and in the interviews he was saying this, but the backlash had already begun. People were saying some different little things, and he basically is taken to pretty much just laughing it off and keeping it moving and not really worrying about it too much, and he's been doing really, really good with that. But I want to know now. Now, he just performed at the BET Awards. He performed at the BET Awards, and the reception was huge. Everybody was dancing. Everybody knows the song. Everybody was singing and all of this kind of thing. But I also heard that now, since he actually has come out, some of our ignorant little people have bust out, and now they're starting to pick apart the lyrics of the song. Because there's a part of the song that he says, um, I'm going to ride till I can't ride no more. And people were picking that out and trying to figure out, oh, is that some, some underlying gay agenda? And he came back and said, listen, the song is and always was about a horse. It's about a horse. It's about horses, period. There's nothing hidden. There's no agenda. You know, and I'm saying, come on. This this is this is the interesting thing for me as far as heterosexuals. Will you accept him and still like him? Or are you going to begin to, to shun him? Or will you continue to listen to his music and know that deep down he is still the same person that he was on the 25th of June? He's the same person that he was on the 1st of June. When you were popping your fingers and, and dancing to his music, he is the exact same person. Are they going to start to treat him different? This is some of the questions that I actually had. So um, with that little thing of the, the whole little thing with the lyrics, I think you know what's going to happen. I think you know what's going to happen. And that it's not just 
not just regular, you know, just regular run of the mill daily heterosexuals. The industry, the industry is the industry going to switch up on them because you know the whole gay thing one and hip hop not really accepted and and country music same thing not really accepted. What is going to happen going forward for Lil Nas X? Do you think this is going to be the bridge? Or do you think that the treatment of Little Nas X is going to be a little bit shady going forward? These are some of the questions that I actually have had. And I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this and taking a look to see what's really going on. I really am. And then Miley Cyrus jumped right in. Her and her dad are in full support of him. I thought that was great. And then also there's a hardcore little young rapper named uh, Jack Boy who actually spoke out positively about it and said, hey, I'm going to keep bumping him. I think he's great. I still think he's great. He just happens to be gay. It is what it is. And don't nobody need to be trying to do him no kind of way. Do you honestly believe that more people will actually take that stance? Or do you think people are going to start to drag him and start to treat him shady? Do you think that his bookings will stay as they are? Do you think that his sales will start to plummet, or will the song still continue to be the hot little jam that it is? Because everybody's running around with that, can't nobody tell me nothing. Everybody was saying it. Everybody was saying it. So it's going to be a real telltale if people all of a sudden stop saying it. But I wasn't shocked at all when I started hearing people questioning the lyrics. I said, how petty, how petty. You were just singing it last week. Just Patty. So, it's going to be very interesting. And I'll say this. The masculine gay of the, the gay community, the, the masculine African-American homosexuals, you all have been screaming and, and, and begging for representation. And now you have it. Are you going to support him? Are you going to get up off of your pockets and start to support him and getting out there and and being in the place for him or what? What's going to happen? Because this is one thing we always hear in, in our community. There's nobody representing us. Everybody has on a wig. Everybody has on makeup. That's the only thing anybody pays attention to. So are you all going to get behind him and support this boy now? I'm just asking. I just want to know. These are the questions that I had to, uh, you know, that were kind of hanging over. And like I said, it was just going to be too long for a segment on Swipe Left. So I said I would just go ahead and do something extra. But um, yeah, those are the questions that I had. What's really going to go on? Hmm. Anyway, later.